Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show how I made a book using a free asset that is available in Unity Asset Store. So if that's interesting for you, make sure you subscribe, click the like button and let's get started. So here's the asset that I used book page curl. So you can add it to my assets and open it with Unity. Quick note, there's also a pro version. If you're interested in that, check it out. And that way you'll support the developer of this package as well. But once you import it, you get this book page folder right here. And inside here, there's some scripts, sprites, and some examples. So in examples, we have some scenes, example one, example two, example three, four and five are the ones that I created. But let's take a look at what examples we provided with. So here is a first example, we're going to test it out. And you can go through these three examples and see if this is what you're looking for, the type of book you're trying to create. And you can see how it's made, or you can copy the book and use that as a starting point for what you're creating in your game. So this one just is a book with eight pages. So you can flip through these. And uh, that is pretty much it for the pages. This asset is actually using sprites. So if your book is made out of sprites, then this is a pretty good asset. Now for my version of the book, I didn't use sprites. I actually used renders from Unity. And I'll show you how I did that in a little bit. But let's take a look at the example two. So the example two has some buttons. So instead of flipping through those pages using the corner, you have buttons that you can click and it out of flips for you. But the book setup is the same. It just has an auto flip script added to it. And then two buttons that trigger the next or previous page on this script. Now let's go to the example three. And example three is similar to the example one that we have. You can flip through this book, but it's just in a 3D world space on a stand. And for that is just using a canvas that is in world space positioned on the stand. So it will look like the book is laying there. So those are the three examples that the asset comes with. And I already said that the book is actually using sprites. So if you have sprites, you can change this book. So for instance, let's change some of these pages. So select the red one. So now we changed that page right there. And you can add more pages, pretty simple setup, and really straightforward. So there is our new modified book. Now, what if you want to create some pages with some 3d assets and some text? Now, I don't know if, if this is the best way of doing it. But this is how I've created it. So I have a camera. So right here, we can go to the camera. And this camera is rendering the kangaroo, the 3D kangaroo and some text, which you can see the preview right here. So same thing with the other ones. So there's a koala, gorilla, and a tiger. So those are my cameras. And the cameras are rendering to a target texture. So I've created some textures here for each animal. So gorilla, kangaroo, koala, tiger. And those cameras are rendering those images to those textures. So if you're not sure how to create this kind of a setup, let me create a quick one for you. So let's create a camera. We're going to switch to solid color. Let's choose some color that we'll use for our background. Now we have the target texture right here. And let's create a target texture. Create render texture. And we'll call this new page. So the default size is 256 by 256. But if we go to our book and select the pages that are used here, you can see that the size of the pages are 558 by 861. So let's set that 558 by 861. That is the size of the page. And now we can put our new page texture as the target texture. 
And just like that, we have a new page. Now in this page, we can start adding objects. So well, let's add a capsule. Let's go focus on that capsule and on that camera. And you can see that the camera and the capsule are at the same spot. So let's move that capsule in front. And there we have this new page. Now, right away, you can select this new page and you can see that it's actually rendering that texture for us. So you can add more stuff like that to your page. Okay, so now that we have the textures ready, it's time to add them to the book. Now, I already said that this asset uses sprites as the images, but we are creating render textures. To make this work, you have to actually modify the book script. So right here, you can see that there was a default book script and I replaced it with the book raw script, which is the one that I modified. I'll show what you need to modify there, but also you need to modify some of the object inside of this book. And it's the ones that are gonna be displaying the pages. So left next, left, right, and right next. So what you need to modify there is switching it from using the image to raw image because the image takes in a sprite as an input and for the raw image we can actually pass in the textures. So just remove the image and add the raw image in there and that modification will prepare for you to be using textures in your book. After you modify those game objects you will have to reconnect them right here left, left next, right, and right next. But we need to modify the script before you can reconnect it here. So let's go inside the script and I'll show what I've changed here. First, I duplicated this script and created a book raw script. So in here, what we wanna do is modify uh, the pages. So we want to use the render textures. So let's just look for texture and that's gonna change our book pages to accept render textures. That's one of the changes. And then where we have these left, left next, and right, right next. We want to switch those to be a raw image. So just switch those four. If you want to switch the other ones, you can go ahead and do that, but it's not necessary. And after we make those changes, you'll get errors. So right here, you can see I have some red errors and you'll need to go and modify those places. So wherever there was Sprite, now we need to change it to texture. And wherever there is a background, since background is still a sprite, we need to get the texture from that sprite. So just background.texture will give us the texture. So that's the changes that you have to make here. And there you go, I quickly went through all of those errors, save it, and now it's gonna be ready for you to use. Now, if you modify this book script, it'll break all the examples that come with the asset. So that's one of the reasons why I actually created a copy of the script and I did those modifications inside here. When you make a copy, make sure you modify the class name as well. Otherwise, it's gonna be throwing you some errors. Now that we've created those modifications, the book raw is now gonna accept those textures and we can use textures for our book. And by the way, you can also add videos to this book as well, because uh, the video player renders to a texture as well. So if you want to add some videos in your book, this method will work for that as well. So now let's add a new page instead of that video here. And let's test it out and see if we have that new page that we just created working in our book. So on the last page, we should see the new page. And you can see our last page here, but that color is transparent. So one thing that I forgot is when you set the color to the background, by default, the alpha color is zero. So be sure to turn it up to the fullest and that will cover that page in that color. And now you can move the capsule around and you can see it move in the book. Now you can also see it in the background because it's actually positioned right there. So what you can do is move the camera out to the side with everything inside. So just set it to some big number and that way it's not gonna interfere in your main camera. 
So you can go even further and actually create a complex scene with actual environment, which is what I did for this one. So if we go inside here, we have this kangaroo and I use some Tune Fantasy Nature, which is a package that is available on Humble Bundle. And if you're interested in that, I'll create a link. I think it's still on sale there. But let's go into the scenes and I'll add the last scene here. This is the scene that I configured this one with. So here I have that kangaroo in this tune nature. And we can actually select the kangaroo and can see the preview of the page. But the other ones are actually not affected because they are further away from this environment. And now let's click play and see how it looks. So here are those koala and the gorilla, tiger, and there's the kangaroo in that environment. So I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.